Hello everyone, this is Quox. It's 2.30 in the morning, so excuse my appearance. Um, this is gonna be a long rambly video. Uh, it's more for any subs of mine or people who do actually watch my videos. Um, you know, more than just out of one time, out of curiosity kind of thing. Uh, I'd say I'm gonna try to keep it brief, but I'm not. Uh, but the TLDR is I'm, I've quit Jigalia Lost. So, the way this will impact YouTube is I will most likely not have pull videos, and if I do, they're gonna be, you know, like a one-off 10, 10 pull ticket that I just grabbed from my mailbox. Um, now, you know, at the end of the day, the, the whole, like, oh, I'm quitting Dragalia, like, no one really cares who you are and why you're quitting, right? Unless you're some big shot, which I'm not. Um, but I do want to explain it because I used to play a game named Valkyrie C C Valkyrie Connect, excuse me. And I used to pull gotcha, I used to post gotcha videos. Home, okay, don't make videos at 2.30 a.m. It doesn't work out very well. I used to post gotcha pull videos and then I stopped playing. And people were like, you know, on my newer videos, once I started posting again, people were like, yo, clocks. What happened to Valkyrie Connect, clocks? Are you, are you going to be playing on Valkyrie Connect? And I kind of just want to make this video as a heads up to any Jigali Lost fans that no more Jigali Lost. Um, TLDR on the Jigali Lost reasons. It's taken them way too long to spool up and it's boring. Um, unfortunately, once I am bored of a game, once I'm not having fun i can't make myself have fun um there are people who can do maintenance mode maintenance mode as i call it where they log in they do their dailies they get their premium currency their wormite whatever right and then and then you know once they're interested in an event that comes along or uh a banner then they go ham you know they have the pulse saved up i can't do that if i'm not having fun with a game I cut it out of my life, which honestly, I think that's a skill to have for other parts of your life that are in games, right? Like if you're in a relationship and it's not going too great, don't stick with it out of comfort, just cut it out of your life. The reason I mention that is because this is Valentine's Day and I am single. Lol. Anyway, okay, and that's also why I'm wearing this, uh, <laughs> this kind of ridiculous looking rose shirt. Because I, uh, I try to dress up for the uh, pull occasion that I did earlier. Anyway, so this is stuff I've been telling Twitch for the past few weeks now. Uh, and I'm just going to lay it out in the video again. So, why did I get bored of Dragalia? Uh, I came out in September 27th. And since then, there have been two events per month. And they've been the same events. It's been raid facility, raid facility, raid facility, raid facility, raid. Sorry. I think that actually covers all the events we've had. Um, so, okay. The fact that there's no variety in events is bad enough, right? What's worse is Jigali's overly in my opinion overly casual schedule which is uh events last 10 to 15 days if they don't last the full 15 there's usually dead days in between two three four sometimes days of no event nothing happening just the old banner hanging around having to wait to see, hear news about what the next thing will be you know and for a player like me, I, I understand I'm a bit more of a hardcore player than a lot of people out there. There's a lot of players um, players and viewers that I've talked to that have expressed that they really like Dragalia and they like the casual, the casualness of it. They like that events are this long because, you know, it's not their main game. They're not necessarily playing it all the time. And, you know, they can log in a few days later and slowly work on the event and eventually eventually they finish it and hooray you know whatever but here's the thing and here's where it killed me this last raid event i finished i want to say 
like four days in, right? This is like the 4th of February. This event ends the 12th of February. I looked at my calendar. I was like, wait a second. Wait, wait a sec. I'm done. I'm done with this event. And I have over a week left to wait. Just to... And it wasn't... The, first of all, over a week left to wait. But we also knew the current banner would end on the 13th slash 14th. So there were a couple extra days of dead time. Jeez, I... Uh, not my style of game. Not my... I love Jagalia. I love the art. I love the story. I love the character interactions. I love the idea of this new story event. I looked into it. I love the idea of stories. I love the idea of characters. Um... Sorry, I think my mic's been cutting out a bit. Um, I hope that what I'm saying is still basically understandable. It's kind of why I keep talking, so I hope that the mic doesn't drop. Um, too little, too late. It's been, it's been this long for a new type of event. And here's the thing, this new type of event doesn't have any, anything really special about it. This new type of event... To get the event currency, you just do the stuff you've been doing all along. You do, you do your IOs, you do your avenues, you do your dragons, you do, you know, you do the you do the main story quest. That's how, you you get you get the roses or whatever by spending stam. Maybe also wings. I don't know. I didn't try it out. Um, I, I'm posting this like, you know, middle of the night after the event just got um. Just got released. Anyway, um, I got really bored of doing the same thing over and over. I got bored of doing the daily dungeon. I got bored of doing all my IO. I got bored of doing the dragons. I'm up to HMS, but I can't really do HBH. Here's the thing, right? If I want to do HBH, uh, I'd have to do a budget option because they made they made the uh the barrier to entry a lot higher kind of artificially to really do hbh in a non-budget fashion you need you basically need a uh, mub five star dragons i don't have the mub five star dra i do have a poseidon that's almost there if i use sunstones on it which i use my sunstones on other stuff maybe uh maybe that was a bad idea um i i still don't own a leviathan you know i i never got a uh dragon yon jean so that's not an option like whatever i mean it's whatever uh i never really got into hbh because i didn't want to do budget and you know the non-budget options requires you to be lucky with gotcha the other thing about hbh uh is that yeah you get high brunhilde as a reward to do what with her uh hms is a lot easier to get into and most people who can complete hbh I've definitely completed HMS, or at least, you know, don't have a hard time doing it, because the requirements are so much lower. Um, owning Brunhilde, High Brun, doesn't really currently help you, so it wasn't really, for me, chasing the HBH uh, end, ga end game wasn't really a goal for me. So, uh, once again, I was back to doing IO, doing whatever. And one thing I learned about Jagalia is... Okay, in the beginning, after HMS came out, I was like, okay, I don't have any good fancy five five star fire units, and I don't want to promote a four star because I have like a thing about that. So I was like, you know what? Uh, l let me guess, right? Okay, we met uh HM we met Midgard first, and he was the first high dragon. We met Mercury second. Should probably be the next high dragon, right? <laughs> Um, I wasn't the only one who made that mistake. Uh, Reddit was full of uh, what you know when HBH came out. But here's where my here's the mistake I made. I made a super Chad Maribel. My Maribel is off the charts. He's like five point five or something. Probably more with the worm print. Uh, my I made her her weapon. I I stoned. I mugged a Zephyr. That might have been a mistake. Uh, I, that's why I actually mubbed HMS later on. Uh, because based on 
HBH requirements, uh, ranged have a harder time meeting the HP threshold without a hybrid dragon. Uh, whether Zephyr is uh, viable in Heimark or not, I don't know. And to be honest, at this point, it doesn't matter. I won't be doing it. Uh, but what I learned from that, from that uh, episode of my Dragalia career was that uh, you need to wait until you know exactly what you're using for the end game content, right? And currently the end game content is the high dragons. So, you know, I built up, and here's the thing, I built up an Iyasu. I have a Holy Stone Marishtin, because Iyasu and Marishtin, uh, Iyasu theoretically has the resistance to do high Jupiter. Um, and I was working on IO to make his weapon, but at the end of the day, right? Like, I don't want to make his weapon, because what if he's not... What if he's not right for high Jupiter? What if there's whatever, you know? And we don't even know when that's coming. We don't know what the next high dragon is or when it's coming out. We know void battles are coming out. I'm assuming they're gonna not be that difficult. Uh, the reason I say this is I, the last raid was undertuned, in my opinion, as someone with a very strong win team. Um, right? Like... I had like a 17, 18k wind only team. Uh, and you know, I ran into newbies who would at least put the effort of putting a wind unit in front of their team. It's not like I checked beyond that. I don't really care. And then they filled the rest of their team with God knows what. And it was like 7k might. Did I care? No, because I could carry them through the raid. Um, so basically void battles. I have a, a five-star unit uh, for every element that I can get up to at least like 4,500 might, probably more, um, depending on what I use. Are they going to be a challenge? I don't know. There's something to grind, but I'm done grinding. I am bored. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm done. Um valentine's day banner i was gonna do like a last hurrah like spend all my money hopefully get the unit hildegard five star fire hildegard you can't use her with your actual hildegard if you have one which i, I they probably did that on this but okay here's the thing jagalia design is so confusing what are they doing okay so maybe they're going for like a Certain elements have a certain affinity for weapons. They ran into this problem in Grand Blue Fantasy, a game that's five years old, also owned by Psy Games. Uh, there were there were heroes who just were very heavy. I I don't I don't know the exact details, but they were very heavy. I think on the sword weapon, there were just the bajillion swords and not much else going on. And eventually, Grand Blue Fantasy, they had to diversify. They had to, you know, be like, oops, there's like 200 swords and like 10 of every other weapon. So we kind of have to put in characters that are diversified. And for some reason, this diversification went out the window for Tricalia. Um, Another fire sword, you know, Orion's a three, three stars. I honestly don't really count. But like, okay, so there's like a, there, you know, there's a bunch of jokes about this. There's a dartboard in their office. And the bullseye is a wind bow. And they have one staff member really good at hitting that bullseye. He hits that bullseye wind bow. We have like five wind bows. We have two five-star wind bows. What is going on? Okay, and what is going on with the, the elements? Why do they hate dark so much? I don't understand. It's the dartboard again. To get a dark uh, event, you have to hit the bullseye, and then you have to hit the dart that hit the bullseye. So for, for New Year's, one master dartboarder managed to do it. And we got our dark event. Our limited dark event. We still only have one non-limited five-star dark unit, and it's Nefaria, who's really bad. Both aren't bad anymore. But the whole status affliction thing doesn't really jive well with attempting to murder bosses. And the whole four strikes thing and AIs can't really use four strikes. You know, all that stuff going on. Um, I don't understand their design decisions. It, I, I, I wish a lot of it is, it doesn't, I don't know. 
there's like gotcha like design principles that most gotchas follow and dragalia is just like let's just let's just have three light events and zero non-limited dark events no. uh, uh, okay so on top of on top of the fact that um there's no event variety on top of the fact that events take way too long so my my ideal and i've said this before my ideal okay let's keep it let's keep it friendly for the casual players right a lot of people like the long events but okay do 10 day events three of those a month different types of events you know raid facility story maze the maze idea looked incredible but it's just gone it's just gone um so yeah i mean i was disappointed by the banner that's one thing right i mean Linio banner was great this banner is disappointing here's the thing right here's another thing the end game so far let's not include void battles which we don't know but i won't be around for them um high dragon trials and high dragon trials the most important thing if you want to have an easier time clearing them and not doing you know fancy off meta stuff is the resistance your unit has resistance is basically the number one deciding factor of whether you can really take a unit into a high dragon trial and do uh, okay with it or do well with it um you know, you can take a non-burn resist. People have cleared HBH with non-burn resist and all sorts of stuff. They cleared it without a healer recently. Um, but th that kind of that kind of gameplay isn't really accessible to the average player. Uh, it requires a team that's willing to practice for this special kind of clear and be on point the entire time. Um, I mean, where was I going with that? Uh, oh yeah, resistances are a big thing, right? So, so part of the banners, it's like when it's when the featured five star is not an eight, like a high dragon trial resistance, it feels kind of disappointing. Um, like Annalie was really cool. Uh, she was kind of she was kind of just like another heli, and I never got a heli, so I mean it's nice that Annalie is a non limited unit, but she has. She doesn't have the Zodiac resist, she has poison resist. Like maybe that'll be useful in void battles, but since void battles aren't considered endgame content, they're considered a step below. I don't know. I hope one day Dragalia will have content involving all the resists, right? But for now, like, you know, you pull you pull, I don't know, you pull like a Xander and it's like, hell yeah, Xander. He's good at a lot of stuff. He's good at like force striking stuff to death and doing IOs, but you're not really gonna bring him to HBH without a lot of prep and teammates who are ready to fail over and over if you just don't know what you're doing, right? I mean, I don't know. It's the design is weird. The worm prints breaking the pity rate. Right? At least the Valentine's banner, the worm prints are actually more interesting than the units. Hundred percent skill prep and the ability to ignore afflictions a few times. If they ever do double worm prints, those those are worm prints that are that are really good. That will be useful for all sorts of things. Um, but unfortunately, like I said at the beginning of stream, I'm not feeling it anymore. It it took too long. The events took too long. There was no variety. Even in units, the variety is missing. It's so weird. That's it. I, that's all I have to really say. To be honest, um, the future of the YouTube channel. Uh, I will post any if I post any like you know ten, uh, you know a uh, free ten pull ticket. I'll I'll do, I'll record the roll or whatever. I don't I don't know how long that'll last. I don't know if I if I care to collect units in a game I'm not really playing. Um, the games I'm playing right now. There are three games I have kind of substituted. Uh, you know, when I stop playing a game, it's like, it's kind of like when you stop dating someone and you go all out. I mean, most people don't. They're like depressed for a while. You go all out and you like explore the world. So I've been playing Azerlane, free to play waifu collector. 
Uh, you don't pay for pulls. It's not a thing in this game. You get pulls for free. Uh, you pay for cosmetics. I love that style of. I love that style of. Uh, of um, microtransactions. I will buy all the cosmetics. I love cosmetics in games. If games sold more skins, and stuff, I I would be all over it. I am. Cosmetics are totally my thing. Um. It is a waifu collector. There's the art is good. Some of it is questionable. Uh, the gameplay. I like the fact, and this is you love it or hate it. A lot of it can be done on auto. Most of it, you you fire and forget. I actually really like this in games. It lets me watch Twitch, watch YouTube, watch TV, um, do other stuff. Just have my phone down. Auto. No, when it's done, it's done. I eventually I notice I hit okay auto on the next thing um that's one game grand chase also relatively free to play friendly you can earn pulls in game apparently people will the f out of this game though um the reason is there's srs right those are your five stars but it doesn't end at getting the five star you can awaken units uh you can awaken them six times or whatever right now, luckily, you don't need to pull dupes to awaken necessarily. Uh, there are ways to, uh, basically, the four star equivalent. Let's just say, um, you can awaken the four star equivalent, which is it's still a time consuming affair, and then you can you can basically transform that into a one five star awakening. So there's you know it's a numbers go up game. I really like the art style. Art style is very important to me. It's very cute, it's very vibrant. There's no stamina system, so you can kind of keep going. You're limited by your, I guess your, your, um, your unit power, which, you know, goes up over time as you do stuff and upgrade your units. Um, in fact, you know, I've been playing the game super casual, maybe like an hour a day, sometimes not even a login for login rewards. I had a friend who, like, got into the game. He went him. He was like, I love this game. He uh, caught up to where I was within, like, a day. And then I was just like, oh, maybe I should put more effort. But uh, check it out. These are all free-to-play gacha games. Uh, there's a lot of login rewards where you do get free stuff all the time, which is nice. It feels good. There's a lot of, um, if you're, if you're, a, if you pay in games, there's a lot of, like, discounted stuff that, like, you can get, you know, like, a, like, a temple is theoretically $30, but not really, because, like, you can get, like, a $10 temple, and, like, all sorts of discounts. And last game, Grand Blue Fantasy, Psy Games, Baby, and Big Hitter in Japan, available on your browser, as an APK on Android, on your phone browser. Uh, English version is available, but it's all one version. The English version, I think, was really created for probably the C region more than, you know, NA. Some people are kind of not into the game. They feel it's a bit outdated and aged because it's five years old. But it's had a lot of love put into it. I really like the art style and the sprites. There's a lot more customization and crazy shit going on than, uh than Dragalia had. And you can see you can see how it's a precursor to Dragalia in a lot of ways. If you like the character and the story parts of Dragalia, there's a lot of that in Grand Blue Fantasy. Um once again, uh free to free to try out. Um their gotcha rates are nicer and they do have a sparking system where if you you're really unlucky and you're willing to go if you're willing to wail out on a banner and by wail out i mean excluding the the multitude of wormite that you get it's not wormite it's crystals but in-game premium currency in-game currency that you get Exclu if you were to exclude that i think to guarantee yourself one of the featured units it would be like seven hundred dollars that's what i've been told that's so huge. I know that's a huge number for a lot of you guys. But compared to Dragalia, uh, Dragalia, you can spend $600 and you have maybe 50% cumulative chance of getting one of the featured units. 
Here you're guaranteed. And that's that's after that's 300 pulls. If you haven't gotten what you want in 300 pulls, right? Then you get it, right? So I'm sure I'm sure that game has whales that do this for every banner. Sure it does. Uh, I'm not that rich, so that's not happening. But I'm having a good time playing the game. Um, so yeah, what kind of content will this YouTube have? I could attempt to show off the polls for Grand Chase and GBF. Uh, I feel like they're not as exciting. Maybe it's because I just started the games and I'm not fully into them. Um, you know, and, and the summoning animation's different. It's kind of old. It's not as flashy as Jigali's. That's okay. Um, we'll see what happens. If you somehow listened this far, you are my number one fan. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble. Um, if you uh, skim to the end, then hello. <laughs> nice to see you here. Um, but yeah, um, these people tend to ask, yo, what happened to that game? Why did you stop playing? Here's the why. Here's the very long, lots of random reasons for why I'm not feeling it. And, um, yeah. So, I don't know. If you did watch it, like, legit, if you watched this, oh my god. Uh, check out the links in my description. Literally, join my Discord community if you haven't. We're really chill. No, no, uh, no pings that... You don't opt in for. Yeah, that's the thing that people hate. Um, check out my Twitch. I do stream these games. Uh, we have a fun time just talking. Um, usually it's not me talking to myself for like half an hour, but it, talking to people. Um, what else? Give me money for polls? Well, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, thanks. I want to thank the people who may have listened to this. Oh my god. Uh, and uh, I guess, I guess I'll leave you guys with this. Thanks for clocking in. And hopefully whatever is next, I hope you guys will be there with me. And if not, then thanks for uh, sticking it out in Dragalia for as long as you guys did. Um, and yeah. I guess good night, good luck, goodbye. See ya.